Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, I'll be talking about Comet Browser of Perplexity. If you have never heard about Comet Browser before, this browser is an agenetic browser which has support of all the AI source in one single place. So basically, this browser sets apart from other browsers like Chrome browser or Edge browser or maybe Safari browser that you have worked like me. And I'm going to talk about the top 10 use cases of this Comet browser and using the power of AI while you use it in everyday life. So this particular browser, as you can see over here, is not something that you can get it right away. You need to have the invitation to gain access or you need to have a max plan of perplexity to get the access of this particular browser. And I did not have this access all these time. And my friend from Australia, his name is Raja, he sent me the 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 invitation to gain access to this particular comment browser and i'm using this particular browser for a past couple of days and i feel this particular browser is quite awesome and powerful and i'm going to talk about all these features one by one in this particular video so the first feature that i'm going to talk about today is going to be this one as you can see this is one of the website which is popular in new zealand it's called Woolworths. so this particular website i use to shop for my groceries and things so what i'm going to do right now is I'm going to ask the Comet browser over here saying, can you help me buy tomatoes, like four liters of milk, uh, like low calorie cheese, uh, bread and chicken and mayonnaise and chips and all of them and check out using my email address, login like this. And the moment I do it, you can see that now the Comet browser is going to use the power of agentic AI and then it is going to start performing the login operation for me. So as you can see over here, now it has found the page that the login page and it is trying to log in and it tried to type the the email and you can see that it has now entered this particular email for me and now you can see that this particular comment browser is going to start for all the list of items that i just gave it to go and search for me and it's going to go and search all the items one by one like how you are seeing over here and then it is going to add all the item in the uh, in the checkout page for me and once all the items are added in the uh, in the cart for me over there you can see that now this guy is going to show all the item that I was requested for like 1 kg of tomato, 4 kg of the anchor milk, low calories and 2 kg chicken meat and all of these. So whatever that I was looking for, it's all now added over here. So this is one of the use cases that I think that if somebody who is quite new to the, the to the to the internet or maybe if somebody ha needs to save the time while they try to do the purchase they can easily just put all the grocery list and they can have all of them added and then you can the final process is for you to do the payment operation because that is not something that you're going to give it to the ai agent to do it so that is something that you can restrict and see the now the entire process is super automated for you and you just have to do the payment alone to just see if the items that you're looking for is really added over there or not. That is one way of you doing it. And the next feature that I really like about in this Comet browser is let's say if I wanted to build a gaming PC and I want to pick up all the best PC gaming parts like processors, uh, GPU, RAMs and things. So I'm just gonna put all of them together like one single question uh, on this particular website. And now the AI assistant is gonna go and start searching for all the elements, like all the components for me for the computer. Like for example, the CPU, uh, the uh, the RAM, the internal SSD cards, or maybe the SSDs, and then see the GPU that's selected directly, the RTX 5070 for me. And then it's gonna choose all of the, uh, the most cutting edge parts or peripherals for me to build a PC. And I think if somebody is gonna keep on searching and searching and then getting into one single point to see this is the item that you are, that you need but over here you just want to put all the things that you really need for your gaming uh, pc setup then you just put it like a request and you can see that currently the shopping cart looks so cool like it has got the uh, uh the the case uh, and also it has got the uh, the CPU, the RAM and the storage and the GPU. So everything is fully added for us over there. Uh, and now it's ready for us to uh, review and then we can purchase from there. I forgot to put the motherboard for that is the reason why there is no motherboard there, but the motherboard is something which is missing. But yeah, you get that. This is also another use case for you, like how you can, uh, you can query your browsers and then the browser is gonna do everything for you, the power of AI. So this is the second most important feature that I really think that it is quite awesome.
And the third feature that I really wanted to show you today is what if there are multiple tabs over here and you really wanted to get a summary of what is really opened in this particular uh, tab. So let's say I'm going to say get the summary of all my uh, tabs uh, opened so if i just gonna go and hit enter it what it's gonna do is now it's gonna go on the, the comment is gonna go and query all the open tab and then it's gonna get you the list of all of the items that is uh, listed over here on my on my tabs list over there which is quite amazing see all of these things is now available and then i can even search my histories if i wanted to or even if i get some of the details which is missed in my history or something that I opened like a couple of days before I can also ask those questions and the assistant which is available as a part of the comment browser is going to go and help me to get those information so this is quite amazing so this is the way that we can even search things which in our classical browsers like edge browser or chrome browser we don't have those options we have to go and search every single details but now this is this is quite amazing and the fourth feature that i wanted to show you is grouping similar tabs so let's say i have got this neowin website open in like four five or six of the tabs and there is there is this uh the the github repository is open and there is the deep eval open and then youtube is open so i want to group them all together for entertainment and news and things of that nature so if i want to do that i have to manually do all of these all these days but now i can just ask here to the common browser that uh group similar tabs for me and if i hit enter what's going to happen is now the comment browser is going to go and do all of these for me over here immediately see that now it's going to say that pb tech it's going to be over here in this group and then there is this neowin uh, .net, github and the blogs and resources anthropic ai and deep eval uh, and then we have got the youtube hacker news x perplexity see so easy and so convenient that we can have all of these grouped together over here and let's say if you think that uh, you want to undo this particular group so you can just say undo the groupings if you think that that you don't even like this particular operation then you can also tell that and all of these groups that you have is going to be ungrouped like it's going to be fully reverted and then you see that now it's there for you like pretty much like the normal way of you using the browser so this is another way of you to group the tab this is another feature that i really like about the comment browser and the fifth feature that i want to talk about is uh, evaluate the uh, evaluate the offer so you can also see that you can just put like this like slash and you can see that evaluate this deal trending on social teach me comment or prepare next meeting right so all of these are like the shortcuts that you can create you can also create your own shortcuts it's pretty much like a prompt to be honest so if you go and click any of the uh, prompt like shortcuts you see that this is what is basically like a shortcut which has been added this is the entire prompt that is part of this particular shortcut so you can create your own custom shortcuts and then you can evaluate uh, the deal like how this particular shortcut is doing similarly you can create your own shortcut to do uh, summarize this particular page uh, summarize this particular video or summarize this particular uh, article something like that you can also do all of this using this shortcut so this shortcut is another amazing feature that is available within the comet so one of the deals that i wanted to show you is maybe if i'm going to go to this particular pp tech website over here i already did this particular trial before i'm going to say slash uh, evaluate this deal and if i'm just gonna uh, hit enter over here so what's going to happen is now this particular page is going to be analyzed by the comment browser and then it is going to see if this particular price of this particular laptop is matching in any other uh, websites and if it is not matching then it is going to tell you that information if it is lower or higher it is also going to get this information so it's going to basically evaluate this particular offer before you can think that whether this particular detail that you have is correct or not because most of the time what i do is if i see any of the price on this particular website then i go and open any other comparison website like price spy price me something like that and then i check if this particular price is the lowest price today if not then i will go and see other websites and browse around to get the information but now using this particular feature i can just get all of these done in one single place but just using the shortcut and it's gonna show me all the information over here and it's going to tell me like a summary over here that this particular PB tech, this is the 9,766, uh, 776.28 New Zealand dollar. Uh, whereas in Apple NZ, it is going to be like $10,000. Uh, and 
other stocks like refurbished is still eleven thousand dollar of the same model so you can see that this is a really good deal right so you can go ahead and purchase it if you really have that money so yeah this is another feature which i really like about the comet browser this is the fifth feature which i really like and the next feature which i'm really going to talk about is searching a specific element or specific part in the youtube video so for example if i'm going to go open a tab over here and i'm going to open this assistant right so it's going to be default by there and i'm going to ask the question here that uh, can you search uh, for a YouTube video where uh, Andrew uh, Karapathy uh, told about um, Tom Cruise uh, movie something like that so most of the spellings are wrong and even the Tom Cruise spellings also wrong but I'm going to ask this question over here and immediately you can see that it's going to go and uh, do a search for me and I'm going to say get the movie name and if I hit enter so you can see that it's going to go and find all the talks which uh, Andrew Kripathi has did and then it says that okay so the movie often referred connection to the Tom Cruise and advanced AI ethics is a pre-crime scenario uh, on the minority report. Uh, on this particular video so you can see that it's also showing you the linkedin uh, tab over there and if you're just going to go and click that you see that now it's showing you this particular information uh this particular page which is which is talking about it and i think there is also an youtube video for some reason it's not really showing you show me the youtube video where he talked about it and i think it's going to go and search that youtube video this time Okay, so it says the closest YouTube video is uh, Andrew Kripathi software is changing again. I think that's the video which I was referring to. And it could be able to find that, which is quite amazing. So this is also another use case. You can also get a specific element which has been talked on the YouTube. You probably just remember it briefly. And you know that there was a, a small word or sentence which has been talked. And you know about that particular sentence, but you don't know which video is that. And if you want to go and search that, this is the way you can do it. And the seventh feature that I want to talk about is going to be creating an alert. So for example, if you're going to just go over here in the browser and then if you just go to the uh, account uh, and go to the preference and go to the task, you can see that you can check all the tasks or create all the tasks over here. So I have created a simple task here, like check for the availability of uh, Apple M4 Max with 128 GB or higher in the New Zealand Apple refurbished store and send me every day by 9 a.m. The moment you say that every day by 9 a.m. you're going to be getting an email from Perplexity uh, saying uh, this particular uh, Apple uh, laptop either is available or not available. And you can see that it's going to give you all the information over here. See, it's currently not available. So it's going to give you the information. But if you have that, probably you're going to get that information as well. So that is another way of you using the perplexity tasks. And this is quite amazing. as. Well. And the next feature which I'm going to talk about is going to be the summarization of the page, which is available even the Chrome browser, Safari browser these days by the inbuilt AI or the onboard AI or edge AI, whatever that you call it, is there as well. So if I want to say uh, summarize uh, this page, if I'm going to hit enter over here, so it is going to go and check out this particular page, I mean the Comet browser, and then it's going to get all the informations for you. So get the summary for each and every news in the page. So if I'm going to do, do that, so it's going to get all the articles in this particular page over here, and then it's going to get, see, every single page summer, uh, like the news summary for me and you don't even have to scroll down and get all the information rather you can just have them all in one single glimpse if you think that is something more interesting then you can talk about or you can even customize that create an alert or a shortcut and then you can say only get me this kind of topic if it exists then get me that information you can do that as well so you can customize this as many number of times as many uh, uh, in like scenarios or uh, or the way that you want and it's just going to work so that is another feature that i really like about and the ninth feature that i really want to talk about about is going to be uh, the way how you can use the Comet browsers in terms of the video. So it's not just about the page summary, but you can also go and ask the summary of this particular video. See, I was talking about the introduction to AI in software testing uh, chapter one over here. So if I'm going to summarize this video, just hit summarize this video. And the moment I do that, it's going to go and look at the entire 47.17 minutes of video. And it's going to get you the summary of what I talked about in this particular video. This is 
quite mind blowing. I don't even have to really watch this particular video, but please do watch. If not, it's not going to make any sense for me. But you ca you can get the idea, right? Like now you can also see the summary of what I really talked about over here. You don't need to go and a different tool to do that. I know that in Google Gemini, you can also paste this particular URL and you can get the summary of the video, but it's all now baked in in one single place for you over here. And just look at the inferencing time. It's quite amazing, quite faster in Comet browser. And even I just know that recently, uh, Arvind uh, in his LinkedIn message, he was just putting that there is a more improved inferencing time with the Comet browser. And I really agree. It is really, really faster this time. Super awesome. And the last feature which I want to talk about is going to be the feature which sets apart from other browser is the, the widget feature in the Comet browser. You see that this Comet browser has got so many widgets for us over here. And you can also do edit this particular widgets and you can see there are so many widgets over here, pretty much like how the MacBook Pros always have for the, uh, the widget in the uh, in the home page, the same thing you can do it over here as well and you can also interact with all these widgets and you can get those information for example you can go and click this time you're going to get the time information and you can also click any of the uh you know, things over there let's say the share market uh, details you can get the live share details over here this is also quite intuitive you can see that it's all going to be in one single place and you can keep tracking and the animations are pretty good uh, comparatively this is really a whole stock market ticket, to be honest. If I'm going to go and search for any of the Indian bank over here. Wow, this is awesome. Just giving me everything in one single place, to be honest. So these are the top 10 features which I really like in the Comet browser. Just let me know what are the other features that I really missed and just put on the details on the comments below. We can talk about that as well. But these are things which I really like about the Comet browser. And I think the Comet browser is really, really a game changer. And the companies like Chrome or like Google Chrome or Microsoft's Edge, I think they're going to start thinking about how they can fuse all these features in their browsers as well pretty soon. But this browser is already amazing. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Catch you in the next one.